Hero community, welcome to our trade of the week. We will give some short analysis and insights in how we evaluated the trade last week. All in all, in long position, the sell point should be higher than the buy point to book profits. Reasons to buy an asset are huge dips and no rebounds. Upcoming news, all when your TA based on your indicators is sharing some good opportunities. When you think of volume or volume breakout, often the price is fluctuating. So as well, here you can think about an investment or if a project is not bottomed out you can as well invest with a high risk as a long-term investor once you bought an asset always use a stop loss to secure the funds reasons to sell stop losses or the trading stop losses so once the market is going down we have traded our stop to the top and booking the profits or when the indicators or technical analysis is showing a trend change to come we can try to sell near the highest point or when we feel comfortable with the profit as well, we can sell that you only realized profits are real profit. All in all, there are no golden rules for buying or selling. These are just a few options I wanted to show you. Last week, we thought that Bitcoin dominated the digital asset market. Some of the assets were still slight on weekly basis in the red, but all in all, there was quite a good week. So Bitcoin just rallied up again and our position in Bitcoin was held with 42.8% profit at this time and Ethereum to the zero announcement as well pushed Ethereum price. So we sold a position with an average of 10.3% profit and held another position with 9.6% profit at this time. When we're now taking a look on Ethereum from the last week, we easily can see that this was a bullish chart and I don't need indicators for this. I just want to show you that we built a support at around 300 73 then waved up in ethereum to the top of around 25 percent so quite a bullish environment of course we as well saw downwards movements of around 10 percent so this was high volatile and not easy to trade due to if you're having a stop loss of five or six percent you would have just be shaken out of this market and you would either then very fast need to open a new position due to the market waved up again so what we can see over here is we build it higher lows this is quite a bullish sign and as well we build it higher highs so the market just waved up and i can show you over here that we build it um, resistance top at around 465 we tested it multiple times always got a sell-off afterwards now we can see that after the sell-off after the first touching of this resistance was quite huge it was now a little smaller so over here we can see that the resistance is getting smaller and smaller and what we can see as well is that the people have a confidence in this market so what we can see as well is that 430 as a support acted multiple times seems to be a good support as well we having a support um above 4 100 due to here you can see a gap of around 10 percent or around eight percent where we just waved through so over here as well there could be a lot of buyback if the market turning bearish again but all in all for now it's looking strong it's looking bullish if we do not have any issues with COVID-19 this market should waving up within the next week but all in all even if not we're having a lot of support below us Nearly the same like Ethereum, but it was a little more bullish. What we can see as well, we built a support at around 13,300 in Bitcoin. We had a local and yearly top at around 15,850. So from the lowest point of this week to the highest point, Bitcoin waved up around 19.5%. So quite a huge run for such a high cap asset. As well, like in Ethereum, from this highest point, we saw sell-offs to the week down. It was around 9.5%. So as well here, high volatile, not easy to trade if you're using normal stop losses. But as well, like here, we build it higher lows. And of course, how you can see higher highs, quite a bullish movement. We as well having here a date range of around one and a half days, or you can see here, where the market just were green how you can see there were just a few red candles and they got immediately bought back and the market just waved higher and higher again so here is what quite bullish and then then the market just went sideways so 15k as a magical support held quite good even 
even if we lost it or touched it a few times, the market just bounced back above it. So over here we can see we're having a lot of support below us. We rushed through all resistances and the market not showing any weaknesses yet. Now you can see the sideways movement is now lasting for quite a long time. We're taking a look from the highest point to just the date right now we're having five and a half days above 15k with the market just went sideways so gaining new trench over here we do not seen any huge sell offers even if we had a wick down to the bottom here quite a healthy market the market seems to have a little fomo inside so everyone is curious when the next wave up will come and then the people will invest so once we're breaking 16k 17 to 2k will be on the line if we losing power over here, we can easily bounce back to 14k or a little lower, but quite a bullish environment and development of Bitcoin. If you like this video, if you do so, I would love if you would comment, like or share this video. And we will hear us next time when it comes to trade of the week provided by T-Rox.